Please give a nice welcome to Matt Pulling. I Dreamt Me a Dreams, the oldest notated song from Scandinavia that was notated in the 14th century. I do believe it was played during the Viking Age, even 500 years before, and that's what intrigued me about it. The title of our program is Musical Mythos, Vikings to Shakers. When I gave Mad the commission, I thought of the Copeland Appalachian Spring. We decided to come up with a, a program together where we actually combined Appalachian Spring with a piece that I would write. And it was amazing what he came up with because the Shaker melody, Simple Gifts, really paraphrases some of the meanings of I Dreamt Me a Dream. So what's underlying this entire program is the sense of our musical mythologies, what comes from our history, our background, ourselves, and how that's expressed in music. I think whenever you can tell your story and do it in a sincere way as an artist, I think people respond to that. Me being from Denmark, and that's what I feel this piece, Bukrasil, is all about, is kind of telling my story, part of my childhood playing music, part of my childhood checking out Norse mythology and how it all connects. I started playing the violin at age six years old. I was classically trained for the first 10 years and then I got into jazz and I was overwhelmed by the fact that you can improvise, you can make your own melodies, you can come up with your own material. When I write my own music in, in, a, in a symphonic setting, is I come with the jazz, the orchestra has the classical, and we meet somewhere in the middle. I gave Mads a call and said, by the way, it's got to be the same instrumentation as the Copeland. It becomes challenging when you're dealing with instruments that are maybe not usually jazz instruments. An instrument is, is a voice and you're trying to add these voices together and make something cohesive and coherent happen. Copeland's Appalachian Spring is for 13 players. Then I wanted to add a percussionist and uh, myself on, as a solo violinist as part of this. So it became a violin concerto but for a very uh, small orchestra. There's a lot of different parallels between the two works, musically and thematically. Appalachian Spring delves into that Shaker mythology of simple gifts. Tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free, tis the gift to be where I ought to be. You found your home. It's a dream that's done through dance, which is what the Shakers were really all about, was dancing and celebration of life. So these two mythologies reflect off of one another in song and dance and dreams. Morse mythology is this world that has gods and villains and tricksters and humans. I wanted to kind of tie it in with I Dreamt Me a Dream, which goes back to those times. Yggdrasil is a giant tree sort of in the center of the Nordic mythology the world and it actually connects all the nine worlds with its roots. That's exactly what my piece does musically, connects all these styles like classical music, jazz, pop music, fiddle music and that's what I love to do. Jazz I think is a product of African rhythms and classical music kind of melting together. It's the whole notion of immigration that's involved with African culture coming part of America, the Shakers coming from England and the Scandinavian man's tolling expressing himself in their culture. The experience for the players in doing Mads' work, it's phenomenal. We're setting a groove for him while he's improvising over, and then we all come together in the melody. And that makes it really incredibly enjoyable and each performance unique. One of the things I hear the most from audiences is they love to see the musicians in the orchestra start bobbing their heads, getting into it. Of course, they're enjoying it because they get to see the result of, of that collaboration. That's very joyous. One of the things that I do with all of my concert programs is try to show how music evolves and how different styles play off of one another, how different composers play off of one another. Certainly classical folks, they're getting some of the absolute classics from American composers like Copeland and, and Barber. 
but I'm a composer who is writing now in the 21st century, bringing my background and my aesthetic, and I think it's a great juxtaposition. And for the jazz audience, it's the same thing. They're there to hear the Joplin and to hear bands tolling, but when they hear those combined with Copeland and Barber, it opens up new doors for them as well. It's very exciting to see new music being presented. And at the end of the concerts, people were standing and shouting bravos, and it's just so unique, appealing, and everyone, whatever the background is, comes to this and comes out of it with a whole new way of viewing music.